Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm here at my grandmother's place, which is probably why you don't really recognize the background. I enjoyed a weekend of catching up on doing absolutely nothing, which was really, really needed. So that's really nice. And it also looks like somebody gave me a hickey and I just can't explain what happened. I don't know what it is. So today I thought I would do a little get ready with me video, including whatever I have in my makeup bag. And I'm amazing at procrastinating, so whatever I have in my makeup bag is usually just like the bare necessities. And then whatever I grab to just throw in there. So I packed my stuff on Friday morning. Uh, it took me like two minutes, <laughs> so that's perfect. Uh, I have only these brushes and some really, really old beauty blenders and then a few other items. So this video is just basically going to be me getting ready, including all these products. So I noticed that my skin right now is kind of red and a little bit tired, especially under my eyes. All January I've been focusing on like really upping my water intake, so I usually drink two to three bottles of water, like liter bottles. And um, I feel like that's definitely helped a lot. I'm gonna prime my face using the Giorgio Armani Light Master Primer. So yeah, I noticed that my skin this year has been a lot more red and a lot more dry than usual. I think it's just because the weather has been so weird in Denmark and I think a little bit like stress kind of uh, doesn't really help either. So I like primers that are really illuminating um, just because my skin really really dries out so fast. So the foundation that I have with me like visiting my family is my trustworthy naked skin foundation in 3.0. I was never really a big fan of the all-nighter foundation, but then I started mixing them together and that just kind of made the trick for me. So I do one pump of the all-nighter foundation and then one pump of the naked skin one and then I just mix it together and I like applying them, just kind of dabbing them all over my face. I'm trying to hide my hickey. Wow, this is beautiful. And I just go in with my beauty blender and kind of just blending all of this into the skin. I like that the beauty blender just kind of makes the foundation look less heavy and less cakey and it gives it a little bit more of a natural finish. And so now that I look like a ghost, I'm gonna apply some concealer. So I'm gonna go in with my Naked Skin Concealer in the color Fan Neutral. And I like to just go under my eyes in kind of like a soft triangle shape. I really don't need a lot of concealer with this foundation. I just like to highlight a tiny amount. As soon as I've blended out my concealer, I like to go in with my D-Slick Mattifying Powder from Urban Decay. I like this, not that it's mattifying, but I like that it's really lightweight. So I just go in with my beauty blender, kind of dab it in like this, and make sure that I have no creases, and then I just kind of press it onto the concealer like that. I feel like this is a really nice way of keeping the concealer in place all day. So to highlight my face and take away some of the matte finish from the foundation, I'm using my NYX Strobe of Genius Illuminating Palette. I think this is an amazing product because it's so cheap and you get so much product. And as you guys can see, I've already hit pan on these two highlighters just because I like them so much. I think this just gives your skin a really, really nice, healthy, but still somewhat natural highlight. So when I'm traveling and I'm being lazy and I don't want to carry too much stuff, I usually just have my really, oh this is dirty, my really like basic palette with me so I can do, do, so I can do highlighting, contouring and shape my eyes with it. And I actually just go in with the neutral color here called Back to contour my face. I think this is just a lot easier when you travel. Plus that Urban Decay's eyeshadow are so smooth that they are really really nice for contouring. And I'm just going in with my Naked Flush brush which is my absolute favorite contouring brush ever. And I don't really feel like I need to contour my nose, but when I do, I usually go in with a big brush like this. It's by Makeup Forever, and I like to go in just under the brow here. Continue this down on the nose and then just shave it a little bit. So like that. I 
And it's kind of funny because my eyebrows are still sort of uh, tiger striped because I had them bleached a few months ago, which I'm gonna do again pretty soon, I think. I like to just kind of brush the brows through using my Urban Decay E217 brush. It's just a little kind of like all around brow brush. And because my brows are so deep and dark in the color right now, I'm gonna go in with Anastasia Belvedere Hills Dip Brow in Medium Brown. It looks like this. I just recently bought this Anastasia product and the thinnest brush that I could find was my old Urban Decay like liner brush. But if some of you guys have tried or have the Anastasia brow pencil, do you think it's worth the money? Because I think I might gonna have to buy it. And then I like to go in with the neutral brown shadow from the palette I had right here. And off camera I'm just gonna carve them out with a bit of concealer. So for eyeshadow palettes I brought my Naked 2 palette right here and my NYX Ultimate Brights palette. And I think we're gonna go for this one today just because it's so dark outside and I always feel like a little bit of color always kind of just cheer me up a little bit which is kind of nice. But firstly I'm gonna prime my eyelids using the old Urban Decay Sin Primer. Before I go in with my NYX palette, I'm just gonna highlight a little bit using Booty Call from the Naked 2 palette. I just applied it into my inner corner using the Urban Decay E206 eyeshadow brush. And I like to just always go in with a highlighter color first. I don't know why, but I just tend to always do this. I go a little bit under my brow as well. Good, so for today's look, I think we're gonna do something slightly orangey, pinkish, kind of red. And I'm gonna mix the top colors right here together and apply those all over my eyelid. Then I'm gonna mix the pink and the purple on a 217 brush from MAC and just blend that out into the crease. I'm gonna just dip into the peachy color right up here and I'm doing that with my Mega Forever. I don't even remember what this brush is called. It is so old. Just a really big fluffy blending brush. What I like about this palette is that it's so easy to layer with so you can kind of keep just adding the colors on top of each other and they have so much pigmentation but they're really really easy to blend. So it just kind of creates like a gradient like rainbow effect and I love that. I'm then gonna dip into the two yellow colors right here, just on the same brush, and I'm gonna continue blending it out just on the outside of the peach color. So I like to just kinda go in with my finger. Uh, I'm just dipping into the pink color, and I'm just gonna dab that on top of my eyelid again to just bring out the color a little bit more. <gasps> I think actually I brought my electric palette here as well. Just one second, guys. Yes, I actually brought my electric palette, so I'm gonna dip into a Savage, which is my favorite pink color in my entire life. And to deepen up the outer view a little bit, I'm gonna dip into Urban, which is this nice purple color right there. So under the eyes, I'm gonna do a little bit of the opposite. I'm gonna take a yellow and then fade it into pink, fading it into purple. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with the next palette again, just taking the two yellow colors right here. And the brush that I'm using is just like a little pencil brush. I think it's actually from this smoky palette. So the past few months, I've just really been enjoying like bruise colors on my eyes. I think like yellows, pinks, purples, blues, and especially if you mix them together, I just, it looks so nice. The pink that I'm gonna use is the one from the Electric palette. And the purple is the same one that I used on top of my eyes. So when I've applied the colors, I'm just gonna take my 217 brush and just kind of run it all over the colors to just blend them out a little bit. So I'm gonna apply a little bit of liquid liner, and when I say a little bit, I mean a lot. And the one that I've been loving lately is the Lancome Grandiose Liner. I think that it's really easy to work with. The only downside is that you have to shake it a lot. And I also really don't understand like the gimmicky, like you can twist it around thingy. 
I never do that, but maybe that's just like preferences. I'm gonna apply a little mascara and I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. Usually just go in on the bottom lashes and spend a little time working on them. It's not my favorite for the bottom lashes, but it's the only one I have with me here. And whenever I go anywhere, I have my little lash stash, which is a little wooden box that I actually stole from my ex-boyfriend and that I probably should give back to him at some point, maybe, I don't know. And I think I'm gonna use my Huda Beauty lashes in Jade. And as always, I'm just using my Duo Adhesive Eyelash Glue to apply on the lashes. Before I apply my lashes and my lipstick, I'm just gonna use my NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray to apply all over my face. I like to do this before doing my lashes just because they, I don't like them to get wet for some reason. And the lip product that I'm gonna use today is the... Oh, I can't decide. I think I'm gonna use the Giorgio Armani Lip Maestro in 507. I really like this color and I think it's gonna add kind of a nice contrast to the eyes. And this is it guys, the finished look. It kind of turned out a little bit like the look I did when I did a mini beauty artist training like a week or two ago. But I really, really enjoy these bruise colors at the moment. I think it's just, it's nice to add a little color to this fall weather. I feel like my eyes are a little bit crooked today though. I don't know if I'm just still tired. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you want to see more of my looks and follow more of my daily life, feel free to add me on Snapchat or Instagram at Celine Sima. I will be back very, very soon. And I think I'm gonna film with my either best friend or little brother next time. So thank you guys again for watching. I love you so much and I will see you very, very soon.